Welcome or welcome back to I need help at C square. In this example, we have a parallelogram and we need to find the measure of the number angles, angle one, two, and three. And down here you see the definition of the parallelogram, which is a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel. So in fact, I'm going to use this property, this definition for finding angle one and two. If you take a look, this is the angle one and this angle one is congruent to this angle that is 31 degree. Why? Because if you remember, the parallelogram has two pair of opposite side parallels. In this case, we talk about AB and DC. So AB and DC are parallel segment or line. That means angle BAC is congruent to angle DCA because they are alternate interior angles. So this is the justification for my answer. And now I'm going to write the measure of angle BAC is equal to the measure of angle DCA. And as you see on the picture, BAC is nothing else than the angle that is 31 degrees. So now we finish with the angle one. The measure of angle one is 31 degree because angle one is nothing else than uh, the angle DCA. Similar, we can find the measure of angle two, this one. This angle here is congruent to this angle here because they are alternate interior angles. Why? These two segments, BC and AD, are parallel segments. Why? Because we have a parallelogram. And remember the definition of the parallelogram. So I'm going to write this justification here. BC parallel of AD. Okay. That means angle BCA congruent to angle um, with the angle DAC um, and the reason is they are alternate interior angles so that is the justification of my answer and obviously then if the angle are congruent they have the same measure the measure of angle BCA equals the measure of angles DAC and uh, if you notice the measure of angles DAC is 43 degrees so the measure of angle BAC which is nothing else than angle 2 is going to be 43 degrees and now we have to find angle 3 uh, last angles we can find we need to find this angle 3 you have different choices you may look and see I can use the fact that this is a triangle and the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 or the bottom triangle, the same idea. Or you can think about the property of a parallelogram. So I'm going to use this last method. And this angle here, let me erase some stuff here to make a little bit more clear. This angle here, 3. And this angle here, are supplementary angle they are consecutive angles in a parallelogram so i'm going to write this property the measure of angle b i can just use one letter there plus the measure of angle here i'm going to use three letters bad equals 180 degree they are consecutive angle in a uh, parallelogram say so they are supplementary so we're going to have here the measure of angle b which is angle three and now how much is BAD? BAD is 43 plus 31. 43 plus 31, right? We have to add those two angles and that will be 74. Okay, so measure of angle 3 plus 74 equals 180. And the last thing we subtract 74 on both sides. And we have the measure of angle 3 which will be 
106 degree is the measure of angle 3. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.